Well, thank you, Chairman Fox and Ranking Member Scott, for hosting this Member Day hearing and for the opportunity to speak this morning. I appreciate it. The Education and Workforce Committee is vital to advancing policies that help students learn, workers succeed, and job creators to thrive. As a physician who serves in Congress, I'm focused on ways that we as members of Congress can enact policies to make America the healthiest nation on the planet. When we talk about health in general, we should be discussing things that make Americans healthy. And this committee plays a vital role in that effort by overseeing programs that affect all Americans from early learning and well beyond that. I appreciate the role this committee plays in education policy and look forward to continuing to work with you on all ways to improve the education of Americans in an effort to have a healthy nation. One of my highest priorities in Congress is H.R. 2630, the Safe Step Act, which I have worked on for several years with my colleague, Dr. Ruiz, California. The Safe Step Act is based on state laws that have passed in 38 states, including my home state of Ohio, as well as North Carolina and Virginia. <clears throat> this important bill would ensure that employer plans offer a medically reasonable and expedient step therapy exceptions process. Currently, health plans, particularly self-insured employer plans that are exempt from state laws, require, often require patients to try and fail on insurer-preferred drugs before the plan will cover the treatment initially selected by the patient and their provider. The insurer never saw the patient, doesn't know the patient, and their medical history. So when, when medically inappropriate, such delays in care brought about by someone other than the patient's doctor it <clears throat> can lead to severe or irreversible consequences. Earlier this year, I was proud to see the Safe Step Act favorably reported out of the Senate Health Committee as one of the only patient-driven bills under consideration. In a nation that makes unprecedented investments in innovative treatments and cures and has the potential to offer the best health care in the world, these delays in care are regressive. Step therapy, when used inappropriately, disrupts the doctor-patient relationship by making it more difficult for a physician to prescribe the care their patient needs. The Safe Step Act allows plans to continue to apply step therapy to drug decisions, yet it ensures that plans allow patients and providers to access a quick, quick exceptions process if a step therapy protocol is inappropriate for that patient. I commend the committee for their support in addressing this bill and the continued work of your committee staff, as well as all of my colleagues on the committee who have joined as co-sponsors and I look forward to seeing the Safe Step Act pass out of this committee. I thank you for your time and consideration today. Thank you once again for holding this member day hearing, and I yield back.